We're live, Jake, on Facebook. Welcome uh, to 100% LCFC Live. You've got some breaking news. I think everybody's seen it now, hopefully, in the last five or ten minutes. Yeah, uh, literally five, ten minutes ago, um, we bought Soleimani. Uh, I think it was um, 30 million euros. 30 million euros, not pounds. Yeah. So a little bit cheaper then. Yeah. I mean, we've been watching it all day, haven't we? I think everybody's been watching what's been going on. And... Uh, it's about half nine now, isn't it? And finally it's gone through. I think uh, he went for a medical. We heard that it, well, I think we saw photos. It gone for a medical in Bologna, hadn't it, in Italy. So yeah. that's where the deal's been struck. And uh, it looks fantastic. So let us know your comments. We'll very quickly look at some of the comments. Um, we'll chat to you live, see what people's views are. There's other things to discuss, but that's Leicester's record transfer fee. I think the previous one was for Musa earlier this this summer. Um £30 million. Pounds. I think you said there was a little add-on maybe as well. I think it was a um, a €5 million euro bonus. I can't remember what for. I think it was either for competitions or tournaments. If we do well, then they get an extra bonus for it or something like that. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. And we were talking earlier, the deal looked like it was going to be for two players to come from Sporting Lisbon. Any news on the silver deal? Nothing yet on Twitter. It's been really quiet on the silver side. It's all a bit, bit about Slomani, Slomani, Slomani. Nothing on silver yet. Um, I don't think he was going to come because uh, I think Sport and Lisbon were looking to bring Schweinsteiger in from Man United. Yeah, I'd, I'd read that as and, well. And uh, Schweinsteiger wanted to stay at Man United, so it doesn't look like they've got a replacement for him. So yeah. I don't think that deal's going to go through. Again, it's all rumours, but that was the rumour, wasn't it? That if Schweinsteiger would have signed from Man U to Sport in Lisbon, he'd obviously at a lesser cost, he would have been a replacement. But lots, lots of people have been saying the 30, I think 38.5 million was the silver release clause um, amount, which I think to most people in the sporting world, the footballing world in Europe, was saying that was probably a little bit too much and Sporting Lisbon were trying trying it on a bit with that amount. But it looked like yeah. Leicester were keen to, to pull him in. I mean, for a 27-year-old, 20, 40 million is quite, kind of a lot of money, isn't it? So I don't think uh, Leicester probably wanted to spend that much on a player like that. On a midfielder where you would argue, do we need that extra midfielder? Not Maybe not so much. Maybe for competitions, but we do have uh, Armati, who's now playing, who might start against uh, Liverpool. Yeah. Drinkwater, who's starting Looks most or every single game. Uh, you've got King. You've got um, Mendy now, who yeah. in, th is injured, but uh, when he comes back fit, he's going to maybe start again. Yeah. So uh, I don't think we really need much more in the midfield. Brilliant. We've already got 75 comments. That's not bad for we've only been going live for a couple of minutes. So we're going to read a few out and do comment. Let us know your thoughts on Slimani, who has signed for 30 million euros. Uh, a few comments here. Let's read some out. Rob Chapman says, Welker, super slim. We have some awesome firepower. Do you want to read a couple out, Jake, there? Uh, somebody said, Magic, well happy. Same. That's Joel Spencer. Well done, Joel, for commenting. Uh, Dodge Lake. That's a great name, isn't it? Dodge Lake. Hello, Dodge says, um, what about Silver? Well, we've just been that. saying that we think he's probably not going to sign. Uh, Sky, just were, before we came live on, on Facebook, we're reporting that that's probably Leicester done now. Yeah, I just don't see him coming, especially for the money that he's asking. No rumours. He's not been spotted anywhere. I think if he was going to go, he probably would have gone to, was it? I can't pronounce it, Bologna, or what, how do you say it? Bologna. 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 I think if he was, well, they're at different places because they're all they're all on uh, in these camps with their different national teams. Now, yeah, so. but um, he's in Portugal right now, isn't he, with his national team? I well, believe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so. Uh, so if he was there and he all he had to do was go to Italy, I feel like if he was going to come, they would have both gone to Bologna. <laughs> I still can't well, pronounce Bologna it. Bologna in Italy. You've got to get to learn some of these uh, European places. We are going on a European tour very shortly. Um, Lee Marie Springthorpe says, hello, Lee. Lee Marie, brilliant, just brilliant. Ben Adams says, a great signing another Algerian warrior. That's a good point because there's loads and loads of chitter chatter photos of Marez and Slimani being pretty big pals in the Algerian yeah. squad and, and a good little pair there. So that, I think that we've got lots of Algerian people tuned in we know that lots of fans have followed us now on 100% LCFC so hello to all the people out there great to have two of the players from their national squad out there and I know they're all starting to root for Leicester City you've got Drinkwater and Vardy as a pair maybe you've now got uh, Slimani Marez going around as pairs so a few more comments before we go off from people just very excited uh, Terry Payne says wow Leicester City a buying club finally 
finally we're spending some big money. I know I came on uh, a couple of weeks ago and I said, come on, Leicester, we've just become champions. We've got oodles of money. If you look at the net, the net amount Leicester has spent over the summer with the sale of Kante um, and the players we brought in, we've basically spent a net amount of zero. Right. Zero. We well, spent. we sold Kante for thirty-two million, and then we'd we'd only spent on Musa, haven't we, and some and some of the other signings. So we hadn't really spent any money. Yeah, I think in total, if you don't count Kante, if you don't count the net, I think we've spent over seventy million now on players. Yeah. Which um, for Leicester, a couple of years ago in the Championship or first season up, seventy million seems like uh, the amount of someone who's fighting for the champions again. Yeah, will, well, will I spend. agree. So it's good. I think it's, what we've done is good, is good business. And I, uh... A little bit before your time, some people out there remember people like Mark Draper being signed for, I think, a million pounds. That was a big buy for Leicester. And A.D. Akinbai, no. If you just mention that name to most Leicester fans, not the best signing under Peter Taylor for five million pounds. When five million pounds was a lot of money. Talking of money, who thinks Kante going for 32 million seems a bit cheap if you look at some of the figures today? David, yeah. David Luiz coming in for about the same figure. Yeah. Um, let's read a few more names. Keep commenting, Facebook people. Andy Botterell says, boom. Agreed. Agreed. Adam Woods says, we need a right back. He's not happy. Adam uh, Woods is moaning that we need a right back. He's got a point. I don't think, it, I don't think we do. Because um, I think Armati, even though he is playing in the midfield role, yeah. if Mendy came back in and Simpson wasn't performing, um, Armati could pull back and perform in the right-back role because that's originally where he was meant to be, start to be playing, not in midfield. So I think, um, I think we have it covered. I, th I still think Danny Simpson's a great right-back. I think yeah, he's I think one of the best in the league. I, to I think everybody agrees Danny Simpson's having a great season. I think it's maybe just if um, he picks up an injury. I would also say Hernandez can probably play right back. Hernandez could probably play right I think we've got it sorted. I don't think we need any more players now. We have a, a way more than enough um, strikers. Where, if you think about it now, now we've got Slomani, what do you think is going to happen to Ujoa? Well, that's a great point. And I was just reading there. Jonathan Lindsay. Hello, Jonathan. What, thanks for watching tonight. He says, is Ujoa going anywhere? Well, there's, th there's not been one mention of Ujoa anywhere today. There was so. earlier. Um, Ujoa, I think... It was, it was a Leicester player. I'm thinking it was Ujo. I didn't get half of it. I'm guessing it was Ujo. It, it was on um, Sky Sports on the deadline day on the show. Um, it was of him driving away in his car. And they were saying, if Slomani comes in, do you think he'll go to someone like, I think Swansea and West Brom are both yeah, I interested heard, I did in hear him. a bit of Swansea. So uh, I think now the Slomani thing's done, he might think that he probably won't even get on the bench now. So Because uh, I think if you have... Uh, Okazaki and Vardy starting, you're going to have Slomani and uh, Musa on the bench anyway. So I don't think you need three. You think, you, do you agree with Jake? Leicester are just going to spend 30 million euros and put him on the bench. I, <laughs> I don't think know. you're right I to don't start know. with. I think first against, game he will be yeah, on the bench. Against Liverpool, I think after two weeks, he needs to get to know everyone, get to know how we play and the style that Claudio Ranieri wants us to play before jumping into the games. And I think Okazaki has proven that he can play really well next to Vardy, so I don't think he needs to change the formation or the positioning around. Loads and loads of comments. Do send them in. We're reading them now live as we're just chit-chatting about Leicester's record signing uh, Slimani for €30 million. Euros. Um, a couple here. Jason Clare says, excited champions again. Danny Adcock says, West Brom and Sunderland want Leo. West Brom have made... I see Pulis has made... He, he talked about making five signings at the start of this week, and he's made Pulis? four. Yeah. Tony Pulis? Yeah. West Brom manager. Oh, yeah. Hello. I was thinking of Alan Pardew I know you're excited because we just bought a big Alan striker, Pardew. but you've got to concentrate. My brain's gone Alan after Pardew. that. Yeah. Um, so, a few more comments from people. Everybody is very, very excited. Uh, John Abbott says, great signing. Mark Patterson says, chaps, what's happening with Jeff? N nothing. Nothing. Nothing yeah. as far as we know with Jeff. There's still two hours left on the deadline. I th anything can happen. Leicester players could be start to leave, but yeah, nothing's been said so far. One in often can mean one out, can't it? Uh, yeah. I'd love to see a signed silver. I'd still love it if there was one more. Yeah, in, I think um, unless we could, we could have a sneaky signing. You know, you never know because all the focus has been on Slomani. Maybe they could have had a secret uh, medical and signing somewhere else. So you never know what's going to happen or you never what know. has happened. 
Uh, Gillian Morris says, great signing. Lee Clark says, nice. Now it's time for a bigger stadium. That's a different debate for another day. I think you have to wait to the end of the season before yeah. you think of that. Couple more. Apologies for my pronunciation here, but Salah Kimeka says, Salami, boom, a lot of goals this season. Do you remember how many goals he got last season for Sporting Lisbon? Um, it was 27 goals. Good stats. Well done, Jake. And a couple more comments. Lee Hinton says, goals, goals, goals. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he was playing in the Portuguese league, which I think a lot of people would agree is a bit easier than the Premier League. But he's a proven goal scorer. He can score for Algeria. He can score for Sporting Lisbon. And I, I think he'll score a lot of goals this season for Leicester if he's put next to Vardy. Um, Lewis Sharp says, shout out, please. Hi, Lewis. Thanks for watching. Kevin Howard says, great signing. Rafe Slammer says his number is 19. Maybe. Because uh, Kramerich left and he was wearing the number 19 shirt. Was he? Yep. Good good memory on that one. Uh, George Howard l says, love it. Lots of hearts. Um, everybody's getting very, very excited. Um, Aaron Harris says, I think we should have got silver or sleever. Sleever, silver. It's silver. It's his spelling on here. Um, Chris Butterley says, it seems we're not going for silver. Uh, good well, news or bad news? It, it, it hasn't been said that when the club hasn't come out and said... We're not. No one's come out and said we, we're not. It might be going. We never know. Um, there's uh, like I said, there's still two hours left. Anything can happen. We could sign three new players for forty million each in this last two hours. You never know. So comment who you think Leicester could still sign in the next hour and a half. Has it been a good? Tra I think I think we've had a pretty good transfer window and it's just gone absolutely brilliant now. For yeah. Me. That, yeah. I don't mind if we don't sign anybody else. Yeah. I think we've got Musa. Looks looks a sharp yeah. signing. And I don't think we need to sell anyone. I think the bigger the squad, the better, in my opinion. Because you have the Champions League, League Cup, FA Cup, the Premier League. With all that, injuries could happen to two of our strikers. And that could mean Ujara could come in and uh, fill a place. So I still believe that we don't need to sell anyone. I, I totally agree. And, and to be fair, I was watching Jamie, Jamie Redknapp earlier on Sky Sports. And he said some of the best signings Leicester have made all summer is Jamie Vardy. Danny Drinkwater, yep. Riyad Mahrez, Simpson, all Brighton signed yesterday. They're all yeah. signing back on. They're all ticking the boxes. They're all saying, yeah, we're here for another two or three years. That's what Ranieri asked for, wasn't it, at the end of last season? Give me another season. Give me one more season and let's see. Keep dreaming. That's what we're all doing, isn't it? Keep dreaming. Yeah. So I think that's it for now. 300 comments. Thank you very much for watching us live. If anything else happens, we'll come back on. Um, great night, Jake. Yeah. Great day to be a Leicester fan. And let's see if anything else happens. We'll keep you up to date on 100% LCFC. Let's get, we're going to get back to Twitter, Facebook, rumours galore all over the internet and, and obviously Sky Sports. But thanks for chatting with us. Thanks for watching us. Keep it 100% LCFC and we will see you later.